Tallahassee, the state could be on the hook for $450,000 in legal fees after a judge sided with cardroom operators in a dispute over controversial, designated player, games. Lawyers for the cardrooms that won a ruling about the games say they are entitled to $50,000, the statutory cap on legal fees in disputes with state agencies for each of their nine clients, totaling $450,000. But the state maintains that attorneys for the gambling operators are only entitled to split $50,000 in fees. Administrative Law Judge A. Gary Early, who set a hearing on the issue for January 16, sided with gambling operators in West Palm Beach, Jacksonville, Melbourne, Miami, and other parts of the state last year. Early ruled that Florida gambling overseers were wrong to do away with a rule governing designated player card games without replacing the regulations. First launched in 2012, the games have become wildly popular among gamblers and are now hosted by most pari mutuals that operate card rooms in Florida. The industry argued that doing away with the rule, adopted in 2014, would put an end to games that bring in $87 million a year. Archive a $500 hand in Florida's controversial new poker room. Regulators proposed doing away with the rule in 2015, insisting that the way the games were being conducted and not the games themselves violated a state gambling law, which prohibits pari mutuals from acting as the bank. Under Florida law, a banking game is defined as one in which the house is a participant in the game, taking on players, paying winners, and collecting from losers, or in which the cardroom establishes a bank against which participants play. Parry mutual cardrooms are allowed to conduct games in which players compete only against each other. Lawyers representing the gambling operators convinced early that doing away with the regulation effectively prohibited the cardrooms from offering the lucrative games. An appeals court last month upheld Ali's decision, paving the way for John Lockwood, who represents seven gambling operators, and Christopher Kies, who represents two, to move forward with their request for legal fees. This was a very expensive case to litigate and the cardrooms want to recoup as much as possible, Lockwood told the News Service of Florida. Whether the $50,000 statutory cap on fees applies per party or in the aggregate could hinge on a 20-year-old case in which Early was a private lawyer who represented companies in a dispute with state regulators over reimbursements related to a petroleum contamination site cleanup program. Early was on the winning side in the 1997 decision granting fees to all of the parties involved in the environmental case. The lawyers never received the fees, however, because an appeals court overturned the underlying ruling in the case. In his December.4 order setting the gambling-related hearing for next month, Early gave lawyers until January 11 to file memorandums for legal consideration which may include citation to legislative history, for which official recognition will be taken. Administrative Law Judge P.